47 Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. We do begin with breaking news out of Fresno. A woman is hospitalized after being shot several times in the upper torso. This happened around 8 o'clock this evening in the area of Yale and Arthur. Police believe the suspect is still inside that house. CBS 47's AJ Cotto live on scene with the latest. AJ. Ken, Catherine, still an active scene out here, a very tense situation. As you said, that suspect still inside this house over here. Take a look. It's just behind me here, but they say at some point they are they are going to be talking to him and they're just working to make contact with him so this can be resolved without any more injury. Now, this started when a call came in about a gunshot victim. As officers arrived, they found a woman shot several times in her upper body. Fortunately, police say she's at CRMC, is stable, and is expected to recover. Officers say the victim and suspect are in some sort of relationship and say they believe this shooting is domestic violence related. They also say two young children were in the home at the time, but both were able to get out safely. Crisis negotiators are on scene. They say they're trying to confirm the suspect is still inside the house as well as communicate with him. At this point, police are not identifying the victim or suspect and say they're now trying to gather information on him. I want to make sure we know everything about the suspect before we start making contact so he doesn't try and throw us off or, or, or we have all the questions answered before, we, before he starts asking them. So uh, they do a pretty good job of making sure they know everything they can about him before they start the negotiations. Police say detectives are in the process of getting a search warrant for the house. Again, they say they believe the suspect is still inside, but everyone else has been able to get out. Now, they say the shooting victim is conscious and able to communicate with them at the hospital. Now, they do expect this area to be closed off for several more hours. Live in central Fresno, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.